the gas tax group, the gas tax fund group includes state gas taxes, which are derived from a fixed amount per gallon, Prop 42 sales tax on gas, and the key is that's the sales tax on gas, and that's apportioned to cities based on population. Uh, measure B, local streets and roads funding through ACTIA. For the gas tax group, the focus is on maintenance projects, including pavement maintenance programs, such as overlay, slurry seal, and cape seal. And we do fund some non-capital maintenance, including street light and signal operations and electricity, as well as con contributing to the city street maintenance operating budget. Traffic impact fees are <coughs> fees collected from new development, <coughs> and they're restricted to specific traffic capacity improvements, which were identified in the 1995 traffic impact fee study. Typically, traffic impact fee projects or TIF projects include intersection improvements, traffic signals, and road widenings. Bike and pedestrian funds are a special funding source from Measure B sales tax focused on bicycle and pedestrian improvement. These projects typically include bike lanes, trails, specific sidewalk improvements, pedestrian signals to improve pedestrian access and movement. Bike and pedestrian projects are prioritized by the Bike and Pedestrian Committee, which is administered by Transportation and Operations Department staff. For parks and recreation projects, we have two funding sources, the park facilities development fees and funds and the park acquisition funds. These funds are largely generated from development impact fees. The projects related to parks are prioritized by the Recreation Commission, which has its own process for receiving project ideas, prioritizing them. The Rec Commission then provides its recommendations to the Council, and I believe their process, they've been work, I know they've been working hard, and their process should be wrapping up shortly, and they'll be providing recommendations, which we will include when we come back to you in January. And the key criteria for evaluating new parks projects are what are the maintenance impacts, can we afford to keep these parks going and maintained? and if the park project has an ability to generate new revenue. The redevelopment fund, or the redevelopment projects, um, we're happy to say that we work closely with the redevelopment agency in, as part of the CIP, CIP process as they develop their work program and come up with projects. So we make sure that it runs concurrent with the CIP. RDA's projects focus on the redevelopment project areas. They also have a number of affordable housing initiatives. And of course, uh, future RDA funding is impacted by the current fiscal limit and also by state ERAF takeaways. The Committed Restricted Fund Group projects are specific one-time projects that match grant and or special department funding. We staff make sure to pursue these funds whenever available to free up other city funds for projects. An example is the Bay Street Streetscape, which received MTC funds. And other projects include clean water, are funded through clean water funds, urban runoff, and integrated waste management funds. We covered the projects funded with debt a little bit in the other slide, but just to reiterate, for the debt project fund group, uh, these are larger projects financed over time whose useful life will e equal or exceed the financing period. And typically, this is for buildings or large equipment purchases such as the maintenance center and fire apparatus. General Fund 501 
is our unrestricted fund with the mo with which we have the most discretion to spend on projects. Typically through our CIP process, we receive more project proposals to this fund category than we'll actually be able to fund. So this leaves room for refined cost funding and estimates and also prioritization. And in conformance with our prioritization policy, our focus in recent years is on maintenance of our assets, specifically public buildings, parking lots, park capital and uh, replacements, and playground equipment. And now I'll turn it back over to Norm. As we all know, uh, our capital needs far exceed our resources. Um, and, and that's a frustration always as we go through the capital improvement process because we have great ideas on, on how we would like to improve the city and maintain it. And, and we're never able to, to fully uh, implement all of our ideas. Um, the annual projects that we need to be funding uh, to keep our city infrastructure uh, from degrading uh, remain unfunded. Our pavement maintenance uh, projects, our concrete repair, sidewalk repair projects, repair of major building uh, buildings, and, and park capital maintenance are all underfunded compared to where we should be funding them annually. And of course, then community amenities uh, that are in the general plan and, uh, and desired uh, remain unfunded uh, due to limitations in debt capacity and ability to maintain facilities if we were to build them. So projects are delayed, uh, and that does increase, uh, in some cases, ongoing maintenance uh, and operational expenses. You may have heard, I'm sure you've heard, of course, about the economic <coughs> stimulus package uh, ideas that uh, are in the news. We, of course, uh, have been talking to uh, state representatives, MTC, city representatives, and, and we've had requests come to us uh, asking us what we could deliver in 90 days, 120 days, 180 days, one year. And, and we've responded to all those requests with very large lists, and uh, of course we don't uh, expect to receive a uh, majority of what we've submitted, but we have, uh, have responded to those requests. But none of us, of course, can predict what if, uh, if any amount or what an amount would be that we would receive. Uh, we're hopeful that anything that does occur uh, will be soon enough to fold it into the CIP process and, and help us uh, prioritize our, our council priorities. More to, more to come when we uh, see what happens in February and, and on. Our, our last slide here is just to reiterate our calendar moving forward, how staff and is going to proceed and how uh, we'll be coming back to the council. Uh, we are here at the work session on December 16th. In the meantime, until we next come back to you at the end of January, uh, Staff will have uh, prioritized the project submittals. We will come back to you to present present uh, that prioritization, and then we'll also uh, come with PWC or our, C our CIP project closeouts um, and our CIP uh, project status updates. Throughout February, um, we will conduct further project costing and scoping so that we can refine our estimates, get our, 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 final, uh, our final dollars for how, how much our projects are going to cost. We'll get updated revenue and we'll be able to match that revenue to the projects and find out what, what projects are above the line or below the line. Uh, 